and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to be making a delicious deep dish apple crumb slab pie. Let's go see how we make this. To get started on this really amazing pie, this is a super simple way to make a lot of pie for a lot of people. So it's perfect for Thanksgiving or any get together where you're going to have a lot of people. I have about seven to eight Granny Smith apples. I don't measure it by the pound, I measure it by the apple. They were medium sized, just fits nicely in your hand apples. I ran these through my apple slicer, corer, peeler thing, and that's what happened. Okay, um, I'm going to add to this the juice of one lemon. All right, we're going to add also three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. A tablespoon of apple pie spice and a half a teaspoon of salt because I always say a little everything sweet needs a little bit of salt. Half a cup of all-purpose flour goes in here. Then you're going to get a spoon and you're just going to blend this all together. Okay, I have prepared a double pie crust that I pressed into a 9 by 13 pan. This is the stoneware baker from Rada that they were so gracious enough to send me. If you're interested in getting your own, I will put the link to this product in the description box below. It's beautiful. All you have to do is, uh, when you get it, is wash it. And then before you use it, you're gonna well, you know let it dry out. You're gonna before you use it, you're gonna let it uh, you're gonna get it wet, and then you know let it dry out, and then put it. You know you, I put a little uh, nonstick cooking spray in there before I pressed my pie dough in there. And this is my cream cheese pie dough that I made as an experiment in another video. I will also put the link to that down below as well. Now we're just gonna take our apples and we're gonna put them in the pie crust. That's a novel concept for an apple pie. <laughs> the best part about this pie is it's easy to serve, it's easy to make, you're not fussing with, you know, multiple pies. You make one big pie and everybody is happy. Now, I'm gonna just set this aside for a moment and then we're gonna work on the topping. We're gonna use one stick of butter that I've cut into cubes, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, tablespoon, of apple pie spice and then all you're going to do is you're going to get in here with your hands and you're going to start mashing until a streusel forms and then we're going to put this all across the top of the pie. The streusel is all done but I wanted to show you what it's supposed to look like because today, oh sorry honey that was probably an accident. It's like wet sand. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to look like sand okay but when you grab it and grab a handful and press it in your hand it's supposed to look like this okay if you give it a little bit of a nudge, it'll fall right apart. Now, I put a cup in to start, and I mash it together really, really well until it was very, very sticky and looked like a, a wet dough. That's not how you want your streusel to look. I kept sprinkling flour in here until it looked like this. I kept sprinkling flour in there. Yes, honey, you did. You sprinkled the flour in here for me. What would I do without you? Um, so in total, I probably added a cup and a half to two cups of streusel, I mean flour, into this streusel. So you're going to have to judge this and you can see when you kind of break it apart you get big crumbs and you get small crumbs and that's exactly how you want it. Okay, so I'm going to go get the pie and we'll top it off. Alright, now just top off your pie with the streusel. Make sure you get it as evenly distributed as possible. And I'm grabbing it and I'm breaking it apart as I sprinkle it because I want some of those big pieces of streusel to stay big on the top of the pie. People will fight for those giant pieces of streusel. So that's all we need to do now. Now we're going to put this in an oven that has been preheated to 375 degrees. Let me 
you know it's 375 because I calibrated it. That's right, you did. If you don't know how to calibrate your oven, I'll link Rick's video down below. Now. We were 50 degrees hot. We were, it was incredible. All right, that's gonna bake for about an hour. We're gonna come back when it's time to take it out and I'll tell you exactly how long it took. Our hour has passed and I wanted to show you that about 30 minutes into the cooking process, I put a piece of aluminum foil on the top simply because I didn't want my crumb topping to burn. Look at that. And it's perfectly done. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna bring it over here where the light is a little bit better and you can see it. Oh, the clay baker has, well, I call it a clay baker. It's a stoneware baker. It has evenly distributed all that heat, and you can see mm -hmm. that our filling is bubbly and thick and delicious. Our crumb, crumb topping streusel here is just right. Putting the foil on is imperative. About halfway through, if you notice that, um, that it's getting a little too brown, if it has to stay in there another half an hour, it's surely going to burn. So what you want to do is you want to put just lay a flat piece of aluminum foil right on top. It's going to protect the crust and it's going to protect the streusel and everything's going to be fine. Now you're going to want this to cool because this is molten hot right now. We're going to come back later when it's time to cut into this for dessert and we will show you what it looks like. It's delicious. It does. Our pie has been cooled and it's time to cut into this. So I'm just going to take, um, this is the Rata, the Rata Super Pairer that I'm using to slice into a pie with, um, just because it is a comfortable pie, um, a comfortable pie, good grief. It's a comfortable knife to use in my hand to slice this in, slice into this with. So I'm going to kind of slice into it like this. It's a juicy pie. It's beautiful. Make sure you get through all the crust. And then the moment of truth. See if we can get this corner piece out. Look at Beautiful. that. Now the other moment of truth. <clears throat> Make the husband taste it. I have to. And of course you can put a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream on that. Mm. Those apples are just delicious. There you go, babe. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Mmm. That's delicious. I love apple crumb pie. There's just something about it. It's perfect. And there you have it. This is going to feed 16 people or 16 servings because this is a serving. So this is the equivalent of two pies in this configuration, but I love it because you get a lot of fruit. It's nice and deep. And I especially love the crumb topping. It's fantastic. So, I hope you give this apple slab pie a try. If you're interested in this stoneware baker, I hope that you'll go check out the Rada Knives or Rada Cutlery uh, website. I'll also put the link below for the Super Pairer as well. Everybody needs a good paring knife, and this thing's awesome. I swear, it kind of feels like a steak knife in my hand. But it's great. So... I hope you try the pie. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!